again. Um, Mole's in charge here, not me. You're blocking my light. Oh, I remember you. You're the one who helped me get away. You want something? Well, you're just here to stare at my forehead. Look, if I had it, would I tell you? This entire conversation is a waste of our time, don't you think? Now find yourself a maze and get lost. I'm busy. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. I heard you helped Melly with that locket. I owe you for that. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Boulder's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. That 
Rachel's nothing more than a fancy way to kick us out and leave us for dead. The important thing is to get it away from them. That Rachel's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. daughter go right now she's a thief hell spawn and you will wait for Korga's judgment now get back oh let me through Mrad Rashem or I'll rip your damn throat out <gasps> Give him a chance. You, get back! Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. <gasps> I thought you were housing. The ball prances around. Haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate!
I've never learned to converse with your kind. Ah, my good friend! You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You'd search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. The man nods thoughtfully and adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. Ah, my grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Please! 
I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. The Tree Father's words. Your circle taught well. You know, then, that Sylvanas spoke further. The parasite must be removed for new seed to grow. Yet behold, the parasite lives. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. A new hatchling? Yes, they can be foolish. Korga Sine, Wuxkiafula Wurfanol. Sif Sif. It is as you say, Tina. Come to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. She failed. That's what matters. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. Can't escape without consequence. We might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task, stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanas' blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. 
I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. I hope to see both you and Halston again soon. Come, Silver. Stay close. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. I suppose a friend of nature such as yourself will know how to avoid them. Provided you don't turn into one, of course. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. I know your kind from other circles. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother, you call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. A disease of the flower must not reach the root. Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. Teachings of the Tree Father. Do you agree? Words I heed to the letter, to keep my brood safe. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. Oh, another stranger come to vex me. What will you do? Hunt me? Grab my tail? Shout until my head hurts? Stupid or a liar? Neither is needed here. Go! That mural... 
They look like... Darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Local history, written in riddles. This will all be over. The ritual almost finished. What have they tried to steal from us? The game. There's a number on you, isn't it? Does that? I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. You need to be quick. This way. the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now... Do I have your word or not? I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. 
Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. You can touch that poison. We won't be needing it. Better a quick draft than Ceramorphosis, nonetheless. We're a long way from a measure that drastic. A very long way. These outsiders should show some dignity and leave. They burden our grove. Outsider, away! Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. You ever scare me like that again, and... I'll feed you to a null. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. It's our job to get us out of here safely. It's not yours. It's my job to do The druids don't care about us. No one does. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. That girl. I don't care what Mole says. That was stupid and reckless.
could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. make a run for it. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. A low thought. But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Corga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. It doesn't sit well with me either. But to get these people to safety, there's nothing I won't do. You'd be well rewarded for the risk. But if that won't sway you, there's nothing more to discuss. Just Zevlor, Tilly. We're civilians now, remember? With respect, sir. Being a Hellrider is for life. They can't take... They can, and did. Avernus changed things. Best we get used to it. Yes. Zevlor.
gave his life defending others. He will be missed. be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. Totem's a trap.
can search for you, Fazel. I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many, and will not be a burden to my queen. People up ahead. think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. I don't know any druids. We know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. You! Brenna! Kill him!
my time. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Compulsion takes over. Your actions are no longer your own. as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. Can't believe one of those things lives in my brain. someone who wronged you. Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each creche contains a Sathisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. 
The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant, order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking, and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more, infinities upon infinities. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. <laughs> 